Okay, so part two of this, part two of part two of how to create a two-dimensional control array in VBA. So there is no need to repeat what to learn. It's the same thing. I, I'll just make it. I'm, I'll just. I want to create it in parts. These are all the same thing you're going to learn, but there are certain things I will not repeat. Repeat like this one. We have already gotten the formulas, so there is no need repeating them. So what I will do next is I want to I want to this uh, decongest the form the form coding environment. This is a form coding environment for this form. So. I want to check now. There is no module here. I want to bring. I want to create a module. Move this one to the module. This and this to module. Now, so that the form will be left with only these two. So, what I will do, I will cut, taking this thing off. So, let me now say add module. The module I will call it. Um, M let's say M spread sheets enter now I'll call it M stretch sheet I'll come here paste this now the way it is like this without editing it will not run why it will not run the reason why it will not run is this is private this is private so you have moved it from you have moved it from this form from the, the coding the, the form coding because when it was in the form the form can identify it because it's part of the form the code of the form but when you come here this is the code of the form this is the form itself so now when it was here it can be private private to the form but here it is not private to the form. Now it will not run because it's private to the module, and it's not private to the form. The form, the form cannot get, cannot access it. Let's run it and see. See, it says sub or function not defined. This one is not defined inside the the the. the it's not defined inside the form, so it will not run. It, because it is private in module, see, it's not private inside the form, so it will not run. It's only it will only run. Let me. It will only run if you make this one, if you make this subroutine public, this one public, then it will run. I can leave this one private because I I'm, I'm only using this one here. I'm only using it here, so. I'm not using it in this form. I can use it, I can leave it private. So now the only solution here now is to make this one public. That is the only solution to this problem. That is the only way you can solve this problem. Now, if I want to solve this problem now, if I just change this, let me say, let me use F8 again, see? It will not work. Hmm? But now let me change that to public. Let me go to this place, change this to public. Now you will see it's coming to that place. Then, but uh, let me see. Okay, these are public, so it's advisable. Let me see what I'm using it here. I'm not using it here. Let me take it to that place. Although if I leave it here, it will still work but it's public. Let me see. Let's see. This is a learning curve. Variables not defined. You see because is in that is in is in the pub is in uh, is in the form it will not work because 
these are in the form so I needed to is only public here that each of the subroutines can in the form code can access it but it is not public that every other sorry that every other let's say is public here that every subroutine inside the form code can access it but this one cannot access it now if i paste this one here this can only be accessed by this this subroutine and this function this can only be accessed by this and this it cannot be accessed elsewhere it's only can only access be accessed inside this module any um subroutine i place inside this mod sub module that is what can access it but it's public here now let's go through it again with the f8 now this is public and private so i need it only here so it will work here let me see mm, can you can you work this is probably can you work here okay let it can work it can work since it's access it is only that place i can access it so let me see okay, yeah it can work because the module can access it alone so so that is that let me just close this if you just click you see it works so the only problem there was that i needed to change this to public and you also needed to change this now you know in that form in this form environment In this form environment, I can I can naturally not put these dots, not put this with form, with the form that is with the form address and end with. I will not put these dots. I will just write it straight away. It will identify because it is it is in the form. It is in this form um, coding environment. But if it's here, you must you must address it to the form. You must address it from the beginning, which is from the form that is housing that uh, um, that um, object that is housing that object. You address it from that that place. You you just like if I am in my house. If I'm in my house. I'm looking for a spoon. I mean, don't need to address it to the house again. Is in the is in the maybe say maybe let me say is in the cupboard. I'll say go and go to the cupboard and get the spoon for me. But if I am outside, if I'm outside, I need to address that my house that would need to give the house address where the spoon is when i give the house address i might give you the house number then give you the cupboard where the thing is because i'm outside but if i'm inside the room which is when you are in the form the coding when you're in the code the form code that is the coding of the form you don't you can just write the name of that object it will identify it but when you're here when you're here without this it cannot identify it, it cannot identify it. it cannot identify it uh, now let me so this is it i'm moving this is a method of moving it to moving it just on this one is just from from moving it this it for make to decongest the form environment the form coding environment i created this making it look somehow easier but this is not object oriented programming 
this is not object oriented programming so let's stop here the next one will be on object oriented programming i will create a class i will create a class model so let's stop here let's stop here and go into the next part what i should include the next part here let me look at the time this is okay 10 minutes let me include let me include this other part here so the only way to do that i will come now i'll create the class model i'll call it cls spreadsheet enter so what i will do now I'll go to this place copy the whole of this I'll copy the whole of this now cut it cut it now copy come here paste now i'll go to the module Go to the module. Let me select the module. Um, let me see. Oh, I cut. I paste it in the module again. Let me um, select this. Cut. I go to class module. Paste it in. Now, uh, let me go back to this one. What I will now do is to say the mm, I will, now in this form I've, I've freed the spread the the module now the whole thing is in the class module so now I'll move the whole thing to the class module so what I will now create here is uh, just create a sub. So I uh, say to add procedure. I will just what will I call the process procedure? I call it um can I still call it that spreadsheet? Yes, let me call it the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet. Sorry, let me be sure it's the same name. Okay, it's create spreadsheet, not this one. Okay, let me go to the form, the form coding environment, and copy this because it will definitely go to that place. So what I'm do? Press to add procedure. Just paste this in. And this should be public, sub so public because if it's private, you will not see it. Public. Now, because you're moving, you needed to move from the the form environment to the to the module environment. It's supposed to be public for for the subroutines so that it can assess it. Now, what I will now do is say thing. We call it spread. Let me call it cells. Okay, let me say spread. Spread as. Mm, let me say spread as um, CLS. Okay, so. I will now hit this. Um, let me go back and say now I need to set the spread let's go to new new CLS there is new class new always class now I can use the width function here width function spread This spread. Enter. 
and wait and use and wait so I will now just say dot And this has been described inside the form. I will just is this one I will just select. So this alone will work. Now let's see. So from here, this is public, this is public. So the form coding environment will assess it because it's public. Mm -hmm. Then going to this other one after assessing here, it will come down there. It will assess this because now I have defined this, I have defined this as this class. So on this ground, it will be able to assess this because now I've used this one, it's just like the address, I've addressed the house. I have addressed the house of the class which is a spread so having defined it as spread the class as spread now I've, I've given it an address so what will happen is that when the um, when it's coming from the form from the form to assess this because it's public it assess this to assess the spread from the spread to go to the subroutine create spreadsheet which we to enter here so let's see now let me press f8 press this to go to this c to to this to see to enter the class look at it inside the class class spreadsheet so when i go see it was working this is private to still work here because it's inside the class and we we only we are only using it inside the class. We're only using it outside the class. So since we are using it inside the class to work, so that is it. So let me just close this and run it. You see, it works. So we just teach how to move how to move some of our sub routines, some of our uh, sub procedures into the model from the model also to the class. So we are done thank you for listening let me end it here sorry let me end it here so this is how to create the, uh, the property get and let now we have this so we needed to create the property get and let of this functions so you know this is public because you can use it here and here but you cannot use it outside of this place uh, no you can use this one outside of this class since you have defined this class you can you can use it outside like you can use it in this module Wait, now let me make it private here now you make it private here it's a prime I call it private so it's private now now we need to enter so I need to add the property palette so um, let me close this copy this now uh, for here in this place I'll need to make this add p to this add p add p add p so now uh, copy this or uh, add to so property public or paste 
we remove this the P okay is here where is it is here we need to cut this off we need to arrange it cut it off should be up there should be here I don't want it to be there now the same with this one I'll call this um Maxim. Let me paste the maxi. Uh, it's not the maxi, that's maxi. Okay. Let me copy it here. This should be paste. And delete this. Should be equal to this. Now we need to copy this. Come here. I'll say P maxim should be equal to V maxim. Now here we need to change here to integer to integer. I need to change this to integer to mm, need to change this to max to V max so that is that I'll copy this you see it's public so from the module module can access it since it's public but the module cannot access this P max and all this to not access this because I've made this public and yeah, private so it we can only access this one that is public now I'll paste this I will just select this copy and I will not copy this but I will select I've done this for Mars call okay Max zero will copy this. I'll come here, select this, then go to edit, find. I'll click this replace button. I'll paste this max call, but I'll remove this P. Now I will say select. I will just select this. Select this uh, the match case. I'll say replace all. Is replaced now. This is how I create. I will create all the ones. So we'll just copy this. Mm, let me copy this original one. Come here, paste. And paste for which one? For this. I'll paste another one. For this. So what I'll do? Just copy this come to this I have this row okay column go to edit find select this select match come here paste this remove this and then come here select from here to here get some let so say replace all so okay then come to this one to copy copy this select this select that okay the selections are all then come here changes remove this Replace all that is done. So we're done with the property. So I've just created property now. You see, 
the properties they are public so it will be assessed from the module uh, let's run it let's see let's use fa to run it click see gets to this go so so it's running but look at the way it runs it goes to this place this is seven this is uh, zero to be seven now comes in see that is the way it runs so it can be assessed by this so now let me close this even if you go to this place now you can also assess it here if you say dots see you can assess it the cell height the cell width the max core the max zero so because it's public now but you can make it private let me say let me make this one private you see you see you want to assess it let me make it private you want to assess it now let's go back there that is the height the height let me make this one let me copy this where is it i will just okay let me save first let me save okay no no, no. let me call it spreadsheet let me call the project spread sheet spreadsheet first say no now now we have this so let me copy this come to this okay the cell height let me change this to pop, uh, private change this to private now if i go to this place i cannot assess it again because it's private there from the two side is private so you see it's out it's only cell with this this you can assess so we cannot assess it because it's private let's go back now the only way we can assess is to make it public so let's now make it public so that we can assess it back first first so now when we go back you can see we can assess it dots see see it's back now we can assess it now before we cannot assess it now this is it this one the need this one see it runs this is by this is the, the module the module this is a class so changing to this you see it runs it works so thank you for watching have a nice day and do well to subscribe and hit the notification bell